Mali now has a president-elect. Ibrahim Boubacar Keita reportedly took a strong lead during vote counting. This is perhaps what prompted his sole rival, Somalia Sisse, to concede defeat. Just hours after complaining that the vote had been marred by fraud, Sisse was quoted by a news agency as congratulating Keita and wishing him luck. The apparent victor, IBK as he's fondly known, is a familiar face in Mali. He served as Prime Minister between 1994 and 2000. Now he inherits a broken nation and is under pressure to quickly rein in and train the armed forces, as well as negotiate peace with northern Tuareg fighters who want more autonomy from the capital Bamako. Keita has promised inclusive talks with Tuareg separatists. And in the wake of the crisis that exposed Mali's deep divisions, most Malians want the new government to work towards reconciliation. When he gets to power, he must work with others. He must not let the power get into his head and say, no, the Malians chose me, it is only me who decides. No, in a democracy, you must not try to get revenge on others. Cater's win gives him a strong mandate to undertake reform in one of the world's poorest countries. And he now has access to $4 billion in international development aid. He'll also get support on the ground from a 12,600-strong UN peacekeeping mission designed to tackle any outbreaks of Islamist violence. International and local observers have called the election a success, despite some minor irregularities. Speaking on Monday, European Union observers were optimistic that Mali could now emerge from its political crisis. I think that this election, from a democratic standard point of view, is a success. It's an election that now allows Mali to start finishing the process that it has begun, to return to a normal democracy. It allows them to address not only economic problems, but at the same time, the internal political problems of the country. Official results are expected in the next few days, and Mali's constitutional court has until Friday to certify them. Clementine Logan, CCTV.